Baldur's Gate 3 has a lot of achievements. Some of them are easy, like play fetch with your dog. But some of them require you to do many, many steps in a single playthrough perfectly, all the way up until the very end. Sometimes the game will just overwrite your romantic partner's crucial cutscene with some completely out of left field cutscene about dancing with Will or a private fucking magic lesson with Gail. <laughs> Since I usually play on honor mode, the many number of things that can go wrong are permanent. So my many previous attempts at both saving the tieflings and getting Karlak to go on a date with me have failed miserable. <laughs> but today, I am finally checking these two pesky achievements off my list forever and never worrying about these stupid, brain-dead tieflings ever again. <laughs> To start, we need to make the perfect tiefling hero. A true living legend to all of tiefling kind who they can look up to. A Zariel tiefling with advantage on intimidation checks to keep all non-tieflings in check. A druid tiefling who can never die with his many health bars and quite literally fly through most of the game as a raven. A tiefling named Thurfling. He will be joined by his lovely wife, Gnilfiet, who will be playing the role of Freyrin, a wandering mage from an anime in search of every spell scroll ever made. Also, I think the name is Tiefling, <laughs> spelled backwards and wrong. And Bales, who's definitely a Tiefling, not at all evil. Look at him, definitely an ally. So with the introductions out of the way, let's begin our story. Like every other, on a beach in Faerun. Neither Turfling nor Nilfeet have the strength to do much of, well, anything yet. But that all quickly changes when Turfling gains the new raw power of a bear. And now we stumble upon step one of our Save the Tieflings achievement. Damaeus and Nymesa are two Tieflings that always get caught up with a certain perpetually violent Githyanki baddie, Lazel. Convince them to get out of here and save them a very gruesome fate. I swear to God, you don't want any tieflings getting messed up with Lazel. Please just convince Demas and Nymesa to leave. He's right. <laughs> Let's go. Now that those two are dealt with, we can take on the goblins attacking the druid's grove with our newfound tiefling druid powers. Immediately, it's time for step two of Save the Tieflings. Saving Nadira from her assassin. Pass a skill check or just walk around the hilltop overlooking the druid's grove to find a girl sitting and a crouching bugbear. The second you see the bugbear start to move, meaning you got close enough, hit turn base mode. Then dash a character up close to enter combat. Simply kill the assassin and voila! Step two down, Nadira is saved. Well, that's quite the story. Step three of our tiefling's achievement, saving Arabella from Kaga via dialogue deep within the druid's grove. Being a druid or a paladin, there's actually many ways to convince Kaga, like using detect thoughts is a pretty easy way to do it. Just make sure Arabella is saved, not bitten by the snake. It is as you say. Sifisif, Tila to me. Sifisif. Out. <laughs> You can even talk to Arabella's parents just outside the inner circle for a reward. Hey, okay. You okay. ever scare me like that? Yeah. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Step four is to convince Arca that revenge is not worth it. If you don't do this, Arca will end up charging the goblin camp alone and die on a cliff overlooking the goblin camp. I can't even begin to tell you how many tiefling runs were ruined by this insane act of stupidity. Step five is to convince Roland to stay. Not doing this will lead him and his friends to just to venturing off on their own and dying because literally everyone involved in this achievement has a death wish and wants to end their miserable existence. Oh, yell louder. I already think it needs no explanation why a Save the Tieflings achievement fits so perfectly with a Romance Karlak achievement guide. So let's go ahead and follow this path right here and recruit the actual main character of this story, Karlak the Barbarian. <laughs> I'm Turfling. Well met, soldier. <laughs> she throws things. And to top our party off, meet our new friend, Bales, who is definitely a Tiefling. Why are you fucking glowing darkness? <laughs> like, actually, what happened to you? What the fuck is going on? All right, anyway. Okay. Step six of the Tiefling's achievement. Save Murkon from the Harpies outside the Inner Grove. Aim for the far one away in the back to stop the Siren Song. Use the high ledges to get high ground bonuses. Overall, pretty easy fight. It's so peaceful. 
Talk to Murkron after you save him to learn the password so that you can go meet Mole. And you should meet Mole, the only tiefling in this entire universe who doesn't try to throw her life away and, in fact, saves herself, for the most part, throughout the story. And we're happy to be helped. Also, I'm not sure if it counts as an official step, but I'm mentioning it here. Check on Alfira, the tiefling bard who will be present throughout the entire run. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna push you off the cliff. Kill Will. Will is the main problem when attempting a Karlak achievement. His many, many, many right. cutscenes with Mizora and dancing often interrupt the necessary cutscenes for Karlak and her romance, ruining everything. So, Will has to go. I don't think you understand how okay I am with this. The issue is the his truth. dance scene. Basically, every event that he has overtakes all of Karlak's events. Feeling refreshed after a night of sleep and murder, it's time to put our tiefling ancestry to good use by intimidating our way into the blighted village, which is overrun by goblins. Sling, so I have an advantage to intimidation. And I'm a druid, so I have guidance. And you've activated my trap card, Pot of Greed. Are you still not using your gold dice? Oh yeah, I forgot. While we're here, we can recruit some extra muscle in order to aid our attack at the goblin camp later. Yeah, yeah. Shining on her. Uh, uh, first roll Holy shit, goals. look at those dice. Right? Isn't that the bling dude? The bling bling. Cause we're the king. Oh, and then I rolled a dirty 20. Take my boot. Yeah, Karlak right. approves. Also, Freynerin, uh, I'm sorry, Ganelfiat, the collector of all spells ever, needs more books. With basically every step done in Act 1 already, and just a couple more steps to go with Karlak, we need to head to the main goblin leaders and take them out so that we can progress this story already. Start off by convincing one of the three goblin leaders to move into her own private room. Here, you can swing on an old lady when she's not looking. Alright, three, two, one, attack. Who missed? Afterwards, run outside the room in between the other two goblin leaders and summon the ogres for a big goblin leader fight. Take out the enemy leaders no matter what the cost. Good idea. Uh, for a second. Oh. Cool. I'm dead. <laughs> if your ogre friends die, that's pretty good too, because one of them has an intelligence boosting headband. Hey, not bad. Save Halsing from their weird torture basement. This isn't really needed per oh, yeah, se, yeah. but it does advance the story and spares us the oh, trouble yeah. of a big fight at the Druid's that's Grove, cool. where tieflings could oh, die goodness. in battle. Thus, we came here, killed the leaders on their home turf, and saved Halsing to spare tieflings ever being in danger of that shit. I am aware. Fast travel back to the Blighted Village. Find this key on a box below the goblin who yelled at you at first, and open this door. Climb the ladder and find a locked chest containing infernal iron, which we need to give Damon for our Karlak achievement. The second infernal iron is one you probably already have, because when you killed the goblin leaders at the goblin camp, there was a giant stash of loot in the back, which contained, among many things, an infernal iron. Speaking of Karlak, step one of our Karlak achievement is ending the paladins she talks about north where you find her. How do I look? Careful, soldier. For step two of Karlak's achievement, head back to the Druid's Grove and talk to Damon, the blacksmith. He'll use the Infernal Iron to upgrade Karlak while also allowing you to farm some easy approval. I'd like that. And while it's not necessary to do so, you may as well receive your rewards for saving Halsing. Ooh. Ooh, a bunch of scrolls, I'll send those to you too. You can learn how to polymorph people and turn them into sheep. Also not necessary, but may as well. Check on Roland and Arca one more time. I've had some time to think since we last talked. And while we're here, let's steal the idol in camp by using Mage Hand to drag it away and pick it up when it's out of sight. Giving this idol to Mole rewards us with a ring of plus AC, which is one of the best rings in all of Act 1, hands down. Step 3 of Karlak's achievement. During the party being thrown for stopping the goblins and saving the grove, tell Karlak you've gathered up the courage to tell her how much you like her. Do not go to bed alone. Make sure Karlak pops up as an option go to here. Bed alone. Go to bed alone. That's what you guys pick. What do you yeah. have? What do you have? Oh, no you know. Way. Are you watching? Hey, soldier. Oh shit. No, I can't see. I she did show up, dude. See, this mm -hmm. never happened last time. Do I have tits? Been waiting for this all night. <laughs> 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 no way! No way! Wait. 
my god. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, you did it again! You did it again! How do I keep doing this, dude? <laughs> this isn't the first! Don't worry about it. No, this is, this is the second time we played a whole playthrough and he was tits, bro. Didn't you just hit randomize? No, he never changes his body type. He gets so distracted with his look, he never changes his fucking body type. It's fucking hilarious. We would watch One Piece. Oh, From like so start to finish. <laughs> okay, party over. All the steps are done for Act One. Now we just need to farm some XP. The degree at which you do so is completely up to you. Us, we decided to kill some gnolls, saved a counselor from a burning building, wiped out a Githyanki patrol. Me bear. Okay. One shot laser with Holy a throwback. And then headed off toward the mountain pass. We completely forsook the Underdark as nothing down there is tiefling related at all. We pass by the mountain, we farm the Kresh, discover the legendary blood of Lathander, and finished Act 1 at level 5. That is not a high level. Act 2 has a ton of stuff that can go wrong for the tiefling achievement. Firstly, we need to speak with Damon and give him either the infernal iron found from the goblin horde stash or another infernal iron found in the mason's guild in the main courtyard to the southwest of the last light inn in the shadow curse lands on a workbench. All this to say, we need another second infernal iron to give Damon so that we can now kiss Carlac. After which, we need to trigger the hardest and most annoying fight of this entire playthrough. Step seven of Save the Tieflings. We need to protect and ensure the lives of every single tiefling during a massive winged horror ambush. Now, it's entirely possible the tieflings you need to save will just randomly sprint past multiple enemies, causing them to take opportunity attacks and die, forcing a reload. This fight is kind of an RNG check to just see if you get lucky and hope Isabel doesn't get paralyzed and critical hit into oblivion. Reload a bunch, get through it. It's annoying. I hate protecting NPCs. This achievement sucks, but we only have to do it once. After the fight, it's time for step eight. We need to save Arabella again and inform her of the tragic death of her parents, who are found very close by. Tell Arabella to wait for you at your camp until you can find them just around the corner, and then break the news to her when you're ready. No, I don't believe you. Shopping at the Last Light Inn also provides amazing gear, like this new druid's armor. Also, just so all of you know, it was around this time I remembered that we had simply never originally prevented the bugbear assassination back in Act 1, so we had to reload our save file all the way back to the Harpies fight at level 2 and replay from there. So if you notice any discrepancies, now you know, and I hope you I hope you appreciate this. Step nine of Save the Tieflings Achievement, head south of the Last Light Inn and save Roland from the shadows, the freaking dumbass. Don't use any AoE effects or Roland will sprint through the AoE effects head first, becoming aggro against you, and then you'll have to reload because all Tieflings secretly yearn for a release from this mortal coin. After the Last Light Inn, Arabella and Roland have all been saved. Step 10 is you need to jailbreak the tieflings who were captured, the friends Roland was trying to save, from the bottom of Moonrise Towers. Throw the gnomes a blunt weapon through the bars so that they can use that to break the walls behind them, including the tiefling cells as well. And then break the chains holding the boat down. You may need to sacrifice one character or two behind to distract the guards. Make sure to check back in with Roland and Alfira for some insane quest rewards. The Shar Temple is one of the only things you must do in the game. It features a painfully annoying series of trials that really lose their novelty fast as you replay the game. But before we even get to those, we have an evil necromancer to deal with. Using invisibility and knock, a spell that lets you unlock any door, you can sneak up and open the door to Balthazar's quarters, pulling him into the fight and turning the game into an interactive movie at this point. Welcome to the fight, motherfucker. A fucking Justice Year comes out. A Justice Year Crusader. Look at this thing, dude. It will be a kindness to put an end to your folly. Fool, you think strong.
breaking down my body will be the end. Disposing of Balthazar with such ease sets Karlak into a frenzy as she can't help but be impressed. Also, she hasn't felt the sensation of touch for years and years, so, you know, that kind of helps. All this to say, you should experience your next sign of progression in the Karlak achievement right now. Or tonight, rather. <sighs> now that Balthazar is out of the picture, it's time to actually tackle the Shar Trials. But since I actually learned from a beloved viewer of ours via a comment on our previous video, you can actually skip the Shar Trials with a very clever use of Featherfall and Knock, even bypassing the legendary Elevator of Death in the process. Thank you, dear viewer. You're the real MVP. Oh! <laughs> so jump down there first. Yeah, that's incredible. <clears throat> so uh what? <laughs> Fuck your three fucking trials. Also, thank you. I now know how counterspell works. You can all stop telling me about counterspell now. Okay, we've saved the last light in. We've saved Arabella. We've saved Roland. We've jailbroken the prisoners. We've checked on Alfira. We've even lost our goddamn virginity. It's time to storm Moonrise Tower, face Kethrick, and do the last yeah. step of Act Two save Zevlor. But first, Feyrin found a mimic. You want to explore the room? <laughs> Feyrin? What? Come no reason, Feyrin. Little mimic. Shut up, Carla. Oh! Up, <laughs> oh, whoa, it's a mimic. Oh my god, I had no idea. <laughs> Uh, and then yeah. Frenrin found Kethrick's private diary in a locked chest in his bedroom, which contained very useful information. A letter from Kethrick's wife. Ooh. Using the knowledge that Kethrick, in fact, sucks, we confront Kethrick and convince him that he is, in fact, a bitch. Except I fudged up the dialogue and nearly died to him anyway. But we didn't die, and we were able to proceed further into the heart of the gross living flesh tower. Step 11-ish, I think, of Save the Tieflings is to rescue Zevlor from the pods. With Zevlor alive and well, all that's left to do is kill Kethrick and wrap up Act 2. My dumbass somehow managed to not fuck up the dialogue this time, and Kethrick actually took the yeet for Jesus. In doing so, he transformed himself into the legendary... We threw sharp sticks at him until he went ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ, why does it do so much damage? <laughs> what the oh. I bought this weapon at the goblin camp. Important thing to note here, Jahira and her harpers died, including several tieflings, but we can confirm with 100% certainty this does not matter or affect the achievement at all. These is fake tiefling. Can we loot them? So, with Kethrick slain, we travel onwards, uninterrupted, to Bother's Gate. Okay, something happened. Well, Fuck. failed to kill you. I mean, we make a pit stop in our own brains and meet the voices in our head, where Larian tries to tell us that 26 divided by 2 equals 0. Oh, of course. Did you know that 26 divided by 2 equals 0? <laughs> <laughs> You did 86 yeah. fire damage with 26. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Also, it was at this moment we all began to seriously ponder just who was going to make the drastic character change for later on in the game, if you know what I mean. But we'll tackle that bridge when we come to it. For now, we go into Act 3 of our journey to save the Tieflings and go on a date with Karlak. Act 3 of Baldur's Gate is absolutely filled to the brim with cool stuff you can do. But we're not going to be doing most of it. You can find and speak with the tiefling kids from the Druid's Grove over near the refugee camp if you want. Oh, hello. I remember you. You've come to the right merchant. Cast Fly or Misty Step your way into the castle to find the waypoints. Just keep discovering things. 
Trinanarin can continue her side quest of collecting every scroll in the inner city, and Roland, a tiefling still under our much-needed care, me, what are you doing here? This is, uh, my apprenticeship. Happens to be the seller of the best scroll in town business, and his boss upstairs is actually a crucial part of our plan. Sorcerer Sundries is one of the coolest places in any video game, and while you can skip it, you'll miss out on a ton of gear, gold, and especially scrolls. The owner of the tower is a douchebag named Laroakin, who is totally messed up and wants to imprison a demigod friend of ours. Hmm. We shall see, won't we? You are broken by its beauty! Being totally for real besties that we are, we tell our friend immediately and even volunteer to go along and end him alongside our friend. Nice boobies. Maybe I'll just put my armor back on. <laughs> Step 12 now, I believe, is during this confrontation with Laroakin, Roland cannot die because he actually turns on his master to join us in his own little redemption arc. This is unfortunately where our Baldur's Gate 3 Wild Magic Honor Mode run failed the tiefling achievement because Laroakin chain lightninged Roland in one shot, vaporizing his own apprentice. But this time, we Amazing. save Roland. All hail Roland, master of Ramesis Tower. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. Roland seems utterly baffled at how evil Laroakin turned out to be, and we make him swear to be better and to always do the right thing. And then I went downstairs and tricked Laroakin's projection into giving me all of his tax money. I can't really remember right now. Oh, not 20. Um, this error in my analysis. Hello, Mr. Marvin Hart. Until next we meet. And then we stole everything we could from Sorcerer Sundry. And hey, before you judge me, this act of tax fraud was apparently just the thing I needed to finally, finally get this cutscene. I figured it out. Exactly what I want to do with you. Oh. Even crazier than that. If you can believe it. Oh, wait, Is it I, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now a you can. First date. You can. <laughs> no weapons, no default. monsters, no mysterious voices. Just you and me and dinner. I want to go on a date. Please say this. Yes. Ew. It's over. Oh. I'm sorry, wife. Look away. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's get this fucking. Give me a beat to run ahead. All we had to do was kill oh, Will. Hmm. Baldurian seafood stew. No, thank you. What do you think you'll have? Oh, let's see. Ribs. Just what I had in mind. Barbarian. Huh? Two of the Rothe ribs, please. Yeah! And two glasses of... Um... Should I get wine? I feel like this is, it's wine, right? Yeah, do wine. And two glasses of wine. We're just two normal people living normal lives. Very, very normally. Oh. I know I can't stay forever. Hey, yeah, you're gonna Here. die very soon. With you. In fact, I feel like... Like I don't have long left at all. We've been through so much. And the worst is yet to come. I have every reason to feel terrified. Hopeless. Not giving up. But to be here... With you... In the city I love, in this world that I love so much, it's all I could really ask for. You hear me? You're all I could ever ask for. I love you. Is she pegging me right now? <laughs> Oh my God. Fast travel to the Elf Song Tavern, where you can find Lacrissa working tables near the bar. She'll tell you that you can find Alfira up on the roof. Head on up to the top of the building to find the two lovebirds staring off into the heart of the city. I'll never get tired of this view. Well, one of them is. Same here. While I was checking up on the tieflings, Freyrinrin and Yurinian continued to explore the magic tower in pursuit of scrolls. Whilst on her quest for knowledge, my wife finds something I've never seen in like 10 freaking playthroughs of this god dang game. A magical lamp hidden behind an invisible wall, sitting alone, awaiting the touch of a brave adventurer. Finding this blew my goddamn mind because it meant there's still content left for me to find in this absolutely immense title. Do not fret. Until another takes your place, you will have 
all the time in the many worlds to ponder. Toodles! Do you get what happened? Oh, is he stuck in here forever? Yeah, he took your place. Step 13, I think now, of our tiefling achievement is to find the Thieves' Guild. In particular, find Mole. Travel to this waypoint, head down this manhole. Walk forward to find this locked door. Use knock or lock oh, picket to, to discover the Thieves' Guild. Mole can be found just up ahead, down some stairs. Oh, look who it is. Glad to see you in the city. Talking to her completes the quest, find Mole. With Roland saved and the Tiefling kids and Alfira and Lucretia checked up on, and now Mole alive and accounted for, all that's left for us to do is speed run the main story and finish the game. Something new. But first, I roofied my wife. Do we like long rest? Cause I want all my spell slots back. I just sent you a purple potion. Go ahead and drink that real quick. Right now, why? Yeah, just go ahead and drink that real quick. Man, you should not accept drinks from strangers. That's crazy. Were you really just drank that just because I said so? Are you fucking serious? You do. That's insane. I can't believe it. You got to be careful. I am the sketchiest individual on the planet. Look at me. You took a drink from me? I guess. Man, I just taught you a hard lesson, didn't I? Anyway, your spell slots are back. To end the game, we need all three nether stones, meaning we have to kill Gortash. We have absolutely no desire to blow up his steel watch factory or use a submarine or whatever. So instead, Bale's respected as a cleric with the spell Spirit Guardians in order to be able to move and push Gortash to a different F5. spot. See? Oh, wow, he really doesn't like that. Yeah, no one likes being your spirit guardians. It's, it's it's just uncomfortable. It's a non pleasant experience. <laughs> still, still watch doesn't like it either. Keep going, buddies. They're like, oh fuck, I'm getting out of here. We chose this spot. <laughs> <laughs> I love this okay. video game. Okay. <laughs> Turns out, if you throw Gortash, it automatically sends the castle into lockdown mode, meaning. Both of the drawbridges raise, and if you happen to have thrown him towards one of those drawbridges, he falls even farther and takes a whopping 379 <laughs> damage. That, okay. That is how you do it. Two out of three stones acquired. Now, finally, to get to Orin, we first have to go through Saravok Onchev, one of, if not the hardest fights in an honor mode playthrough. Lucky for us, we don't have to fight him. We killed Gortash fair and square, meaning we committed a murder. And we can even join the Ballists if we want an extra achievement in the end. Why not? I do just that, because I think this elephant has a stupid hat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need the achievement. No, I'm sorry. I can't. So this is an achievement you need? Oh my god, I'm gonna <laughs> bathe in blood. Behold, father. Baptized in your most wretched name. A new unholy assassin. For the tieflings. Now that we're Bala's assassins, we can speed run to Orin's Temple of Baal and throw slash knock back her stupid minions until she's no more. Oh my god! Whoa. <laughs> Okay. You have robbed another god of his chosen. At this point, we've done it. We've saved all the tieflings. We've even romanced Karlak now. All that's left is to head north and take on the true final boss. As the game will tell you, this is the point of no return. Make extra backup files here if you want to level up or find more loot. Us personally, we're fine being like, what, level eight, maybe level nine? We find being level eight adventurers is perfectly suitable to take on a nether brain, okay? I mean, how scary can a nether brain even really be? You think you know why you are here? To save the team. The Turfling actually manages to pull an impressive nat 20, not once, but twice, including the legendary 99 skill check, which definitely helps make the final boss a little bit squishier. Look at that 99 check. Woo! Fuck you, Elder Brain. It's official. We're in the end game, doing the hardest achievement there is in all of Baldur's Gate 3's achievements, in my opinion. 
As you watch this, just know that we had absolutely no idea if this was going to work out. Did we have to help Jahira and the Harpers in Act 2? Did we have to find Mole's soul contract with Raphael? Was there some other step that we never knew about in Act 1 that made all of this a giant waste of time? We truly did not know. We reach the Halls of Justice, which contain all of our tiefling companions, except Mole, because apparently she's too independent to help. Really, I I can't blame her. But Zevlor, Arabella, and Roland are all here to help, which is a very good sign. Purely for the sake of variety, we opted to go around the massive war zone of a battle to go to the side and go underground in the sewers. Inside, we faced the Death Knight, who actually wasn't that much trouble at all. 10 out of 10 definitely recommend going this way over the massive war zone up top. Before we head on up the brainstem to the end of our adventure, we turn to Carlac and ask her for one last kiss. Um. Do you have the scroll of uh, love of vulnerability? I have one. Yes. Alright. Go on stop. Yeah. I do. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna invis and rush up there and then and just get it open all all the way through it. Perfect. Um, what are we doing again? Fuck yes, soldier. I'm burning hard and fast Wait. and ready to fight a big old brain. Wait, why is she all right. crazy looking? What did you give her a soul point? And with that, we begin the climb towards the final fight of Baldur's Gate 3. Save fucking Arca in Act 1. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, fuck all these stupid teams. All of them, bro. They all roll in. Zevlor in the pod. Alfira, the fucking bard, being a dark urge in our dark urge playthrough when we went for this and immediately found out I can't do that. Ugh. Thousands of feet in the air, looking down the nose of a dragon. Our goal is to race around to the crown and activate the three stones. Did you know you can be stunned through the orb of invulnerability? I didn't. What? what? Bails in his newfound tentacle form, takes control of the crown, and then betrays me and my wife and the entire city and everyone dies and Bales joins forces with another brain and they both become joint rulers of the world. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we saved the city. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. Carlac immediately undergoes a fate that I unfortunately had to witness last time without the achievement and I couldn't do anything about it. <sighs> Above. I love you. You. More than anything. I saw. Oh, God! <laughs> Goodbye, son. Goodbye, sea. Oh. But since we got the achievement this time... Yes. Yes. You can't... All right. All right. Yes. We have to go. Now. I can't hang on much longer. Things play out a little bit differently. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. No way. Well, soldier. Here we are. Oh, it's like oblivion. Nice, bro. It worked. My engines calmed down. Aw. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zara's going to come at us with everything she's got. Gods, like clockwork. They'll be on us soon, but there's just enough time. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. 
smokes. Both of them? But then, there was you. Imps are fast, but careless. Don't let them tire you out. Just get rid of them. And don't forget... You asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back. And this time, I'm not alone. Let's go! Thought is action. Action is thought. Speech is difficult. We fast forward six months later. Our friend Bales, having lived as an illithid that whole time, enters the reunion epilogue a completely different being. The time before you became what you are. But more importantly, Carlac and I make a much needed return. Oh my god! He wasn't kidding! Where is your mad bastard? You brought us back! <laughs> Commander Zula won't know where the fuck we went! <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to say hi to everyone. Look at them, the beaut! Rest up, soldier. My tin can will be alright for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in six months? Six months? <sighs> then again, maybe we won't sleep at all. Six months. We might get to come home permanently. Maybe even sooner Your than face, we you're think. Like, oh. We engage in some jolly good old-fashioned PvP for old time's sake. <laughs> you almost killed me, almost. Oh, like you've got a lot more CC. I don't have that. <laughs> and then we wrap up another playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 with two of the most annoying achievements in the game in the bag. Wow. <gasps> Leave no one behind! Save every tiefling! Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Maybe subscribe if you want to see more of these long story driven playthroughs. I'll see you in the next one. To you. To you.